It has never been an easy task in the Gambia, living as a person with albinism. We face a lot of challenges, most especially when it comes to our education aspect. Accessing quality education is very paramount as far as persons with disability are concerned, especially blind people are concerned or visual impairment is concerned. There's always you no know, difficulties you know, with person of disability to access you no know, healthcare services in this country because most of the facilities are not you know, disabled user friendly, particularly those on wheelchair. wheelchair. Our call to action for persons with disability is first of all to ensure a human rights based approach to disability in the Gambia. Secondly, to facilitate the participation and inclusion of persons with disabilities, especially those that are underrepresented, the women and the children, and to make sure also that that participation and inclusion extends not only to urban areas, but in the rural areas where we know that in the Gambia the majority of the population is. You can see that there is no disability, there is no approved disability policy, and again you can see that there is a well-drafted disability bill which is still sitting before the National Assembly. If the bill is passed, I mean, uh, there, there will be an improvement. If the draft bill sitting before the parliament is passed, it is going to mean a gigantic victory for persons with disabilities. It will mean that persons with disabilities will now be guaranteed in terms of existing legislation. I'll be more than happy if the draft disability bill is passed because it's the only tool that persons with disabilities in the Gambia rely on for their rights to be uphold.